Good afternoon, I'm Jeff. I'm with Sewer Tech Northwest. Today we're at property address 820 North Birch Street here in Canby. We're located at the front of the home just off to the left of the front door. We have a three inch cast iron clean out as our point of access. I'm going to insert the camera and check the overall condition and serviceability of the sanitary sewer line. We currently have water running. Here we go. Transitions over to concrete pipe, the four inch concrete pipe here at about two feet out. Looks like we do have some roots that are coming through here at about 22 feet out, actually about 23 feet. And it appears to neck out here to 6 inch concrete pipe about 24 feet out. And here at 35 feet, we have reached the main lateral. We're going to let the line drain out here for a moment. Okay, I did locate the camera head successfully out on North Birch Street. The line's all drained out now. I'm going to go and start pulling back. All right, so here at about 23 feet out, we have a root intrusion coming through the line. It is literally smack dab beneath a, I don't know what kind of bush it is. It's kind of a red thorny bush right up next to the sidewalk. Uh, there's three of them, and it's the middle of those three red bushes. And that's, that's directly underneath the bush where this spot's at here. So I had to pull the camera back here a little bit. Uh, so my marking is going to be off by a little as far as the exact location. Basically, if you dig that whole bush up, you're going to find the sewer line. It's only three feet deep. So a pretty easy line to dig down to at least. And I do recommend a repair there. Uh, again, those roots are not currently affecting the flow, but the nature of roots is they will continue to grow and can become a problem. So you either are, you know, have to keep an eye on it constantly or you just do the repair and take care of it permanently, which I would rec highly recommend doing. We have a couple other issues going on as well. And then I wanted to point out this, this does appear to be transite concrete. Part of the line is looks like it's standard aggregate. This part here I believe is transite. We're, there's two different joints in line here where we have these two holes that have developed on either side of the joint. So I'm going to locate this as well. The repair, all the repair spots are going to be marked with white X's. This is also three feet deep here. This is in the grass. I believe we have another spot similar to that. We could almost have something like that going on here at about 16 feet. There's kind of some dirt looking stuff there coming from that joint. Without being able to see underneath it, I don't know if that's actually what's going on there or not.
And then here is the other location where we have holes coming through the line, through the right at the joint. And then this set of the holes here are right smack dab in the middle of the front yard. Now there's three X's. One of the X's is kind of hidden up underneath a bush. Obviously the where the root intrusion is at. And talking to the homeowner, it sounds like there were roots in here at some point in the past. They've, they've had them. They've removed a tree. It's very possible that tree had roots punching through the joints here and up ahead at 19 feet. Um, and the root system may be dead, but there's still holes there in the sewer line. So I would recommend a uh, spot repairs to basically correct the section from about... You might as well have it be one continuous repair. There's no reason to do spot repairs here. Uh, but from 11 feet out to 23 feet to deal with the uh, two sets of holes in the line as well as the root intrusion. And right here is about 3 feet 8 inches deep. The yard's kind of built up. That's why it's deeper back here than it is out further. And I recommend a rescope after the fact to uh, ensure it was done properly. If you were to do a full replacement, now would be the time to do it. You're replacing, you know, to fix this, you're replacing a good portion of it. Uh, I would look into doing a pipe liner as well and just fully updating the line, but um, this will probably be the more cheaper, cost-effective, at least right now, um, to deal with the current issues. As far as the current drainage goes, we have good flow all the way out to the main lateral, which makes us a great candidate for doing a pipe liner on. It has no standing water in it. Now, the line is functioning properly at this time, but we do have some issues to get dealt with here. And it looks like we might have some holes developing right here at this joint just beyond the cast iron transition. My camera doesn't have a great view of the left side of the line there, but on the right side you can see how there's a hole that's worn through. So I'm also going to locate that. Or do my best. It might actually be right under a bush here. And this spot here is difficult to locate. It is right under a bush that's just in front of the clean out. So anyway, I, I put kind of a white marking underneath the bush here, but I'm not able to get accurate uh, exact locates and depths there. But I recommend correcting that as well. So basically from about at 2 feet, 10 feet, 19 feet, and 23 feet, we have uh, either holes or a root in the line. But it is currently functioning properly at this time.